Garmin has what they call Connect IQ data fields. We have a core Connect IQ data field, which is really important if you want to use your core while you're doing activities such as cycling, running, or triathlon. Now, what we're going to explain here is how to get the data field onto your smart device and how to configure it. I'm Chris Blumfield Brown, the product manager for Core, and now I'll step you through the simple process. Now, to get the Garmin Core Connect IQ app onto your smart device, so you can read your core values on here and have and see that data in your Fit file. Step one is we need to grab your phone app and go to the Garmin Connect app. From the app, please select your device, select down to Activities, Apps, and More. And once we're there, the bottom one is Data Fields. Select Data Fields, and on the bottom of the screen, it's going to say Get More Data Fields. When we select that, that will navigate us to the Garmin Connect IQ Store. In the Garmin Connect IQ Store, we want to search on Core or Core Body Temperature. And once we find our Garmin Core Data Field, we need to select it and hit Install. Now the next part is really important. We navigate back to our Garmin Connect IQ app, or Garmin Connect app, and hit the sync button. When you hit the sync button, that transfers, even though you hit install, the sync button transfers the program to your smart device. Once the sync is done, it's on your smart device, and then we can go to the next step. Now that you have the core data field installed on your smart device, the next very important step is we need to add the core data field, the Connect IQ data field, onto each activity. So an activity is cycling, indoor cycling, running, swimming. So when you navigate to the screen, you need to go in and edit, add a new field or edit a field. And then when you see the field, scroll down until you find Connect IQ, select on that, and then you should see core in your Connect IQ field lists. Select core and that will add it to your screen to be visible with all your other metrics at the same time. Now you have the core data field installed on your device and installed in your activities. The last step or the last important thing to know is there's menu options where we can configure that Connect IQ data field. This part's not very obvious. People familiar with it won't have a problem, but I just want to run through the steps one more time. So, if you want to change some of the menu options available on your data field, you go back to your phone app, your Connect IQ app, select your device, navigate down to data fields, you'll see the core app there, and then you're going to click on settings. In the settings, we can set a few things, such as a high temperature alert, a low temperature alert, importantly, your core ANT ID sensor ID, so in case we have multiple devices or you have the wrong one, the number there, you can manually change that number. And we can also set the heart rate monitor ID. And that will automatically pair your heart rate monitor with your core device. There's one other option that you should be aware of, which is a flag in there called backward compatibility. If you want to look at your data in training peaks, make sure you have this one connect switched on, but make sure you don't have it switched on if you're using a muscle oxygen sensor such as the Moxie Monitor. So after you do your settings, remember the last important step, always what you have to do with your Garmin Connect app and your Garmin device is you need to hit the sync button. Anytime you do a change, you can change it anytime, hit the sync button and you're ready to go and you'll see the changes live onto your device. I'm Chris Blumfield Brown, the product manager for Core. If you have any additional questions or want more information, please see the link below or come visit us at corebodytemp.com.